So, I'm sure you've heard of Apple. I mean, of course you have to have at least seen their products. They are literally everywhere. The famous iPhones, iPads, MacBooks, iMacs, and even Apple Watches and AirPods. Apple has built a huge tech empire since their foundation and now is worth more than $2.9 trillion. But of course, this wasn't always this way. Let's dive into Apple's growth and explore the fascinating world of tech evolution. Apple's journey has been marked by constant innovation and groundbreaking advancements. From the early days of their iconic Macintosh computers to the present, Apple has continuously pushed the boundaries of technology. One notable milestone in their recent history is the introduction of Mac OS Sonoma, the latest iteration of their operating system. It brings a host of new features and improvements, further solidifying Apple's position as a leading tech giant. When it comes to comparisons, Apple's products often stand out. Take, for instance, the comparison of pure data between Apple devices and their competitors. The seamless integration of hardware and software, coupled with Apple's attention to detail, sets them apart in terms of performance and user experience. Speaking of devices, one product that has gained significant attention is the iPad Pro M2. This highly anticipated successor to the iPad Pro line promises even more power, enhanced features, and a superior user experience. With the list of expectations surrounding the iPad Pro M2, tech enthusiasts and Apple fans alike are eagerly awaiting its release. Apple's success story is a testament to their unwavering commitment to innovation and their ability to adapt to the ever-changing tech landscape. As the world of technology continues to evolve, Apple remains at the forefront, shaping the future of consumer electronics. Steve Jobs, along with a few friends, founded Apple in Jobs' garage, igniting a revolution that would reshape the technology industry. However, shortly after its inception, a co-founder named Ron Wayne decided to leave the company, relinquishing his 10% share. Despite this setback, Jobs and his remaining co-founder, Steve Wozniak, pressed on with their vision to create innovative and user-friendly technology. In 1976, Apple introduced its very first product, the Apple I, which was meticulously crafted by hand. Encased in a simple wooden frame, the Apple I was initially conceived as a kit computer, allowing consumers to assemble the machine themselves. While it may have seemed like a modest start, the Apple I laid the foundation for Apple's future endeavors and set the stage for the company's commitment to quality and attention to detail. The Apple I, with its impressive capabilities and innovative design, quickly captured the attention of technology enthusiasts and hobbyists. It featured a microprocessor, a built-in video display, and a keyboard, which were revolutionary for its time. Despite being aimed primarily at hobbyist users, the Apple I laid the groundwork for the personal computer revolution, foreshadowing the profound impact Apple would have on the industry. Steve Jobs, known for his relentless pursuit of perfection, recognized the potential of the Apple I and realized that there was a burgeoning market for user-friendly computing devices. This realization propelled Apple to expand its product line and develop groundbreaking technologies that would eventually become household names. From the Apple I, Apple went on to release a series of successful products that captivated consumers and set new industry standards. The introduction of the Apple II in 1977 marked a significant leap forward for the company, as it was the first mass-produced personal computer designed for the average user. With its intuitive interface, color graphics, and expansion slots, the Apple II solidified Apple's reputation as an innovative and forward-thinking technology company. In 1980, Apple released the Apple III, a computer that deviated from the design influence of the company's original members. Unlike the Apple I and Apple II, which were products of Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak's meticulous engineering, the Apple III was developed by a separate team within Apple. Unfortunately, this departure from the original design philosophy resulted in severe problems for the Apple III. 
One of the major issues with the Apple III was its heat management. The computer generated a significant amount of heat from its internal components, causing the chips and motherboard to malfunction. This excessive heat led to chips melting or popping out of place, resulting in system failures and frustrating user experiences. To address the problems faced by Apple III users, Apple implemented an unusual and unconventional solution. They advised users to physically pick up their devices and slam them onto a desk or other hard surface. The theory behind this slamming technique was that it would help reset the dislodged chips and temporarily resolve the issues caused by heat-induced malfunctions. This troubleshooting approach was unique to the Apple III and showcased the extent to which Apple was willing to go to to mitigate the problems faced by its users. Despite the challenges and reputation surrounding the Apple III, Apple remained dedicated to rectifying the situation. They released revised models and made efforts to improve the computer's reliability. However, due to the initial issues and the overshadowing success of other Apple products, the Apple III ultimately struggled to gain significant traction in the market. The experience with the Apple III served as a valuable lesson for Apple, highlighting the importance of rigorous testing and maintaining the high standards set by the company's original founders. It also reinforced Apple's commitment to delivering exceptional quality and user experiences with their subsequent products. Apple's response to the Apple III's challenges demonstrated their dedication to customer satisfaction and their willingness to learn from setbacks. This mindset has been a driving force behind Apple's success as they continuously strive to improve their products and provide innovative solutions that enhance the lives of their users. From the early days of Apple III to the present, Apple has come a long way in refining its product development and design processes. Their commitment to quality control, user-centric design, and attention to detail has been instrumental in creating some of the most iconic and beloved consumer electronics in the world. In 1983, Steve Jobs pitched to the CEO of Pepsi to become Apple's next CEO, marking a significant moment in Apple's history. However, in 1985, Jobs attempted to remove John Scully as the head of Apple, but the plan backfired. Apple's board made Jobs the chairman, a position that was not as hands-on as he desired. Consequently, Jobs left the company and started his own computer company called Next. Around the same time, in 1985, Steve Wozniak, frustrated with feeling no longer needed at Apple, announced his departure to establish a home video production company. Wozniak sold much of his stock in Apple, believing the company had been heading in the wrong direction. During John Scully's tenure as CEO from 1983 to 1993, Apple experienced both growth and internal challenges. Under Scully's leadership, Apple's annual revenue grew from $569 million to $8.3 billion. However, internal conflicts arose, leading to Scully's ousting as CEO. Apple then appointed Michael Spindler as CEO, and during his tenure until 1996, he fought against proposals to split Apple into separate hardware and software companies. Nevertheless, Apple fell behind in the PC price wars and licensed its OS 7 operating system to other computer manufacturers, resulting in the creation of Mac clones that impacted Apple's profitability. In 1996, Gil Emilio became CEO of Apple and made a significant move by purchasing Next Computers from Steve Jobs for $400 million. As part of the deal, Jobs returned to Apple as an advisor. The next year, Emilio was replaced by Jobs, who became interim CEO. Jobs made significant changes to streamline Apple, cutting various products and projects to restore profitability. Jobs led Apple through a period of remarkable growth, introducing iconic products such as the iMac, Mac OS X, iPod, iTunes, iPhone, iPad, and MacBook Air. Despite battling pancreatic cancer, Jobs left a lasting impact on Apple before his passing in 2011. Tim Cook then took over as CEO, and under his leadership, 
Apple continued to innovate and release new products, including the iPad Pro, iPhones, Apple Watch, and AirPods. If you enjoyed learning about Apple's history, check out some of our other videos.